Hi. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. And I'm Jay. And we're super foodies. Sharing some of our culinary adventures and experiences with you. And every Tuesday, we post for Tuesday Tastings. And today, we are eating... Peruvian food. Wow! All right. Okay, well really, let's get to it. We were on a two week break, so welcome back to another Tuesday. And it's Peruvian food, it's delicious. It's this brand new restaurant in Pasadena, California. And it is super hip, super trendy. The lights are beautiful, decorated so nicely. And now is that time and season where everyone is safely dining in, dining out, and you know, it's just another day at work, so we decided to bring it back home. <laughs> this restaurant is called Borihan number 69. So hopefully you guys get to check it out. The waiter told me that it's very authentic, so we can't wait to try it. Alright. Let's dig in. So first off, we will start with this very popular Peruvian appetizer, which is called... Papa Ala Ha. One keina. Maybe I'm butchering it, I'm sure. Papa a la ha one keina. So mm. it is a popular Peruvian appetizer that originates from Lima. Potatoes are boiled, served with a creamy and spicy yellow sauce made from chili peppers, al aji amarillo. The yellow sauce is what is called the uh, one keina. Ooh. So, yeah, give it a try. It almost looks like a cheese uh, sauce tex texture like, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it is. Wow, yes, yeah. so look at the potato, perfectly boiled. It's like, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a cheese sauce or orangey sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. And it kind of does taste like a, a cheese, cheesy sauce. Ooh, it's good. Cheesy sauce, a little, little spice. To be honest, this just reminds me of like a nacho cheese sauce. Yes, yes, I agree. Nacho cheese. They have little quarters of egg in it, boiled egg. And they have, I guess, some olive lettuce for garnishes. Mm-hmm. So, One olive. <laughs> it's a good appetizer. Worth a try. If you like those like nacho cheese uh, style food. It kind of seems really plain, but it's good. Yeah, I agree. All right, next what we have what here is ceviche, but instead of the normal ceviche, it is called ceviche B69. And this, it's, it seems like this ceviche has fried squid in it, or octopus, fried octopus. Mm. So it's a little, I think they did a like Peruvian twist on it. So in this one, they include shrimp, squid, octopus, clams, and scallops. A few mussels or small crabs are sometimes also added to this dish to give it more flavor. Mm. And the, the seafood itself is marinated in lemon juice, mm. lime juice, <laughs> celery juice, salt, onion, cilantro, and hot chili peppers. Ceviche mixit, mixito is often served with a glazed sweet potato and Peruvian corn. Ooh, look, I found the sweet potato, guys. Oh, wow, yes, yeah, that's different. I never seen yeah, a sweet potato in ceviche. Mm. So it's different, it's a, yeah, it's a twist. Mm. And then there's this sauce, oh. which is called the bomb sauce, the, or the bomb ceviche mixito, is leche de tegre. It is like the leftover marinade known as leche de tiger or tiger's milk. It's a briny, fiery elixir often tossed back from a shot glass or spiked with a pisco. Mm. Mm. A combination of Peruvian ajis and top fried calamari. Try it! Ooh, it's so good. I have the calamari. Obviously calamari is always good. These like little corn nuts. That's like so different. Very different. Oh. Mm. <laughs> They're kind of hollow. I'm not proving corn. This one? Yeah, it's the corn. Mmm, it's so different. Mmm. Yeah. Right? 
It is. Um, what are these ones? Oh, that's the white ones. Squid. Oh, that's, like, that's corn too. There's a lot of different kinds of corns in Peru. Yeah. I know that. And this white corn looks like the ones you get in the American corn nuts in their bag. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and these ones are fried ones, maybe. Oh, maybe. But they're so hollow. I think they're different. Mmm, that sauce is good. Yeah, this is the bomb tiger's milk sauce. Yeah. Mmm, it's very limey, super limey. Oh, it's, I love it. It's so good. I'm really curious, like, what kind of corn is this? If you know, put it down below. Mmm. What is the name of this corn? It's... Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I like it. I like this. This is really good. It's not like Mexican ceviche. Mm hmm It's different. How do I explain it? I feel like it's super limey. But I really oh. like the sauce. This tiger... Tiger milk. It really does it. Mmm. Some shrimp. Mmm. Highly recommend this if I you're gonna go. That. Yeah. Yeah, I think this this is really addicting. I can't stop. It's a different ceviche than we're accustomed to, but mm. it is addictive. Mm. Ten on ten would recommend. I'd rather get two of these. Yeah, than this than one. Than that one. Sorry. So. It's good, but I think it's. I want a little more. Yeah. This is like flavor explosion in your mm -hmm. mouth. Oh, they have a muscle here too. This one is like a little, yeah, lacking that explosion of flavor. So good. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Seafood. Love seafood. Our, our last entree we have here is lomo saltado. This is a, the local Peruvian dish that many Peru, Peruvians eat daily. And it's, mar and it's made with marinated beef strips, onions, peppers, cilantro, mm. tomatoes, and other ingredients local stir fry mm. of all the goodies in peru usually they they eat this with french fries with fries usually yeah mm. there's actually french fries inside of it right yeah i'm eating yeah. it it's at the bottom yeah. mm, so good. It's, it's like stir fried food with fries try it i had the french fries tastes like normal french fries to me it's good did you know there's actually a really big population of chinese and japanese immigrants in peru did not know that yeah so that's why this is kind of like a fusion of peru it's like a peruvian inspired chinese food really the stir fry and that's where you get the potatoes come come in mm. Mm. 10 out of 10 would recommend this this is like well mm. staple i feel mm. it's not salty yeah mm. there's like onions green onions in here tomatoes definitely not too, like not salty so that you don't feel like you have to consistently drink water mm -hmm. usually I feel like these are usually heavily salted but this place does it right mm -hmm. the last thing is another part of an appetizer I guess technically we only got one entree and a bunch of appetizers yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that but that's okay <laughs> and last but not least are the plantains because it, how can you not it's like such a staple in South America and for our beverage we are doing Inca Cola. So I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of Inca Cola. Inca Cola is basically the most popular soft drink soda in Peru. And really sad because they didn't have any more of the chicha morada, which is basically um, a purple corn drink. I guess they run out. So if you guys go to this place, make sure you get it at lunchtime or something. We're gonna have some of this Peruvian soda instead. Which is, I believe, owned by Coca-Cola Company. <laughs> Great. Ooh. Kind of tastes like... Cream soda. It is? Probably. Yeah, it is definitely tastes like cream soda. Tastes like cream soda. Very, like, a little subtle fruity flavor. Addictive. It tastes good. It tastes good. I mean, it just tastes like soda. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you like soda. Let's eat a plantain because... Plantains are delicious. Mmm. <laughs> oh. 10 out of 10 recommend. Instantly. Still good. We had plantains in our Colombian video. If you haven't watched it, check it out. We just had to get it again. Because we loved it so much in that Colombian restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> these are our go-to. Mm. Eating the I could eat these every day, I think. This would be like the perfect dessert every meal. Thanks for watching. 
And if you know any uh, good Peruvian dishes that are a must try or local to Peru that we should know about, please let us know in the comment section below. Remember to like, share, comment below. <laughs> Subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye. Bye.